Hey everybody, today is Amazon Guard and ADT Pulse. How they work together, how to set it up, and some things that I wish Guard had. Hey everybody. If you haven't heard of Amazon Guard, this is a new service just released by Amazon that basically it's kind of like a security service. So what it does is it allows you to leverage your echoes that are deployed throughout your house. And when you tell the system you're leaving, what it'll do is it will have all of your echoes start to listen. So basically like a sentry mode, they'll start listening for smoke detectors, uh, so like alarms from smoke detectors and glass breaking. There's videos on the internet. You can see people have played wave files and what happens of like glass breaking. What happens is when the system hears that, it will um, it will record that and it will send that notification to your phone. So this is a great way to just like get notifications, an extra set of eyeballs or ears, if you will, on your house when you're not around. It clearly doesn't replace a full fledged security system, but it's free, it's part of, if you own Echoes, it's part of what you have, just another value add that's come you know, over the air updates to the system. So I think it's great, I like it. There are a couple things, there's, there's a couple things I don't like about it, so I wanna talk about that in this video. Um, not that I don't like about it, that I just wish, wish it had. So some features I wish it had. Um, and then my buddy Steve also, you saw in the beginning, he filmed a quick demo of using the guard with his ADT, ADT Pulse security system. So that's a complete solution. So it is a full security system and then using these additional echoes as sensors for glass break and sirens. So let's, uh, let's look at the, let's jump in here. Let me show you exactly how to enable it, how to, how to get it going. And uh, I really like it. So let's take a look at this. Under settings and guard, we're going to launch the wizard. This is where we're able to choose the features that we want, such as smoke alarm, glass break, and also away lighting. So the away lighting is a feature by Amazon where it will look at our smart devices and randomly turn them on and off so that it looks like someone's home. I don't use it personally because we have home assistant, so I can program that functionality within Home Assistant, but it's nice that this is available through Guard. Once you've chosen the features that you want, you can just confirm on the bottom and that will basically complete the setup of Amazon Guard. So now it's set. In order to activate it, you would just say, computer, I'm leaving and then it will go into monitoring mode or sentry mode. And then when you're home, you can say computer or your wake word, I'm home, and then it turns it off. There's some integration with different security systems. If you do choose the away lighting, you can choose all the different lights that you want to pick. There's also the option of choosing which devices, which echo devices you want to actually listen. I don't see why you wouldn't choose them all, but you have this option of unchecking them. With the lights, you can do the same. You can choose all the different lights that you want to work with, uh, with Amazon Guard. And you give it your zip code so that it knows sunrise and sunset. So even though, even if you're gone during the day, it won't do anything during the day. It'll just uh, at night turn things on and off. Again, I'm gonna use Home Assistant, so a lot better. So that's how we configure Amazon Guard. I'm gonna turn it over to Steve now, who's gonna give us a quick demo on the ADT Pulse integration, which is very, very cool. I don't have it at my house, but Steve has it as his house, so he filmed it. It's in portrait mode, but still some good information. Thanks, Steve. Let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna give you a demo of the Amazon Echo app running with uh, ADD Pulse. If you've had the ADD Pulse skill enabled, it'll be easy enough to set this up because as soon as you start to launch um, the Amazon Alexa app and you go to guard and you start setting it up, it's already it's already set up. It doesn't, you just hit a button and it works. It just works because it's already there. 
Um, if you're not, if you don't have ADD Pulse hooked up to your app, uh, you have to download the skill and hook them up just so they work together. All you do is you go to your Amazon uh, app, go down to settings and then go to guard. And you'll see that I already have the ADT system. It's already, it's disarmed right now. I already have it enabled. It gives me a bunch of what's all the things that's happened today in the house so far. It gives you a little readout, that's kind of cool. You can use the button here in the app to arm or disarm. Uh, you hit that up there and I'll give you a go away or if you're home. Pretty neat, what uh, this will do is not only will I can use my voice to set my ADT pulse alarm system in the house, but if I set, if I arm or disarm with the pad, it'll also start and stop the guard mode on the uh, app. So I'll show you first how it works with the voice. So, uh, Alexa, I'm leaving. You'll notice it'll set the alarm. There's the alarm, it just set it. And there it goes, and now just, just arm in away mode. I just got an alert on my phone as well. So there's that. Let me turn the alarm off so it doesn't go off. Uh, I'm going to do the alarm by hand only because I'm not 100% a fan of how long it takes to disarm the alarm when I tell her that I am back home. Uh, it, it will turn it off, but I feel like it just takes a really long time. So I haven't really been using that option. I've just been pressing the, the disarm buttons on the on the uh, panel there to turn it off. Um, but the cool thing is the alarm, setting the alarm and disarming the alarm also turns on and off the guard. And I'll show you that right now. So if I come over here and I set the away mode on the alarm, in one second here, you'll see on the top of the phone, you'll see an alert come up saying that there it is. Alexa started guarding your home. So, which is really neat. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. Which I found to be really neat that they work both ways, that it's not just a one-way street, that you have to do it from the actual, uh, from, and there you go, that's the uh, alert that said it disarmed. Uh, that you have to do it from from uh, an, uh, an echo or a dot or, um, or the show, whichever have you. You can do it from the actual panel as well. So pretty neat. Uh, you can set all kinds of settings. There's other settings for like lights and stuff like that, which I think I'm sure Carlo already went over. So I was just kind of highlighting the uh, ADT Pulse integration um, with the app. And I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I hope that they can speed up, somehow speed up that uh, disarming option because it seems like it takes a little longer. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it's pretty slick. All right, bye. Thanks, Steve. That was great. I love the fact that you can initiate the Amazon Guard from the ADT control panel. I think that's like super cool. That's actually one of the things I want to talk about. So two of the things I think are missing from Amazon Guard are the ability to actually connect, like to trigger it from outside. I didn't mention it before, but it works with Ring or ADT Pulse right now. Hopefully there's gonna be new ones uh, like Simplify or um, some of the other sort of easy security systems. But one of the things that I really wish it did, IFTTT. I wish I, wish I, can, I, wish I can initiate it via IFTTT. Then with webhooks and Home Assistant, if we were away, when we leave, we can initiate it. Because sometimes, honestly, we just forget to say it. You know, you have to say, computer, I'm leaving, or computer, I'm home, to turn it on and turn it off. Sometimes we just forget. The integration with the ADT Pulse really, like to me, it really highlights the fact that that's super useful. Obviously, when you come in to your house and you initiate it, it would, it, it'll just take those guards off. Um, and when you leave, it turns the guards on. So having the ability to do that with other IoT devices. So it would be nice if you have IFTTT for now, you'd be able to use like your Nest for instance. So if you're anything that's tracking your proximity, if you're away from the house, it would automatically turn guard on. I mean, even Alexa app within, um, just on your phone, I wish it, it had some sort of location-based awareness uh, that you could use with routines. So currently, you just can't do it. It would be really nice if you could do things with routines. So those are the two things I wish it did. I wish, I wish you could uh, initiate guard via IFTTT because then we could use Home Assistant. We could use really any kind of web hooks to to initiate that and to turn it off when we got home. And the other thing I wish it did 
was I, I, I just, I wish you could, ha I wish there was more triggers within routine, within routines for Alexa Card. I think both of these things are coming in the future, so I'm not too worried. I think uh, I got high hopes for this Guard product. The other, actually there's one other thing that I did forget. Uh, it doesn't work with the tap. There are, I wish Amazon would just treat the tap like a product that they created, which they did. So for some reason, it's still viewed as like this third party product. You can't do guard on it. You can't do drop-ins. You can't do announcements. I don't understand why it has with, you know, very early on after it was created, you were able to, uh, you were able to leave it always on. So it's always on, um, but it doesn't work with this stuff. So. Those are the three things I wish Amazon Guard included, but I like it, I'm using it. I think you will too, give it a shot and I'll see you in the next video, bye.